O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Good morning and a very warm welcome to you this morning on Wednesday the 11th of November for our service of morning prayer. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. Where shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is your God now? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. And our reading is from the book of Revelation. Chapter 7, beginning to read at verse 1. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or the sea or on any tree. Then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. After this, I looked and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people and language standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands, and they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing round the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honour 
and power and strength be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they and where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the centre of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and the seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to everlasting glory. God of justice and peace, we pray for those who have been injured or disabled through war, for those who have lost homes and security through conflict. For those who have lost loved relatives in wars and for those who face danger and take risks for peace. For all those, especially children, caught up in current conflicts. For refugees and all those in need of aid and other help. God of encouragement and saviour of the despairing, comfort those who remember past sacrifices and guide us in building a just and peaceful community for all. Amen. God, as one family, we reflect today on the horrors of the past that continue to haunt humanity and darken our world. Lord, where pain still overwhelms, bring healing. Where hearts are still breaking, bring comfort. Where peoples are still oppressed, bring liberation. Where communities are still victimised, bring justice. Where children are still brutalised, bring compassion. Where lives are still crushed, bring hope. Where evil is perpetrated, bring repentance. Where war still devastates, bring peace. But most of all, wherever a single voice cries out in the darkness, bring us to one another. In the name of the love you bear in your heart for all people, all nations and all creation. Amen. 
we entrust to you, eternal God, those times when we can only see shadows and lose sight of the hope to come, the times when suffering seems so senseless, life so fragile, war and the pandemic so unstoppable and death so permanent. Bless us with the assurance that you are in all things, that you are in the tragic and the beautiful, the nightmare and the dream, and that you are in the light and the darkness. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, the peace of the world, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.